Hello friends, happy Monday. Back for my rune reading, or er, <laughs> just did my rune reading. Back for tarot reading for the week. God. So this week, we have a new moon, new moon in Cancer. It will be a powerful new beginning, okay? Um, I'm not just saying that just to say that. I'm saying that because I've been <laughs> obsessively looking at the astrology for it. And I'll talk more about it in my videos uh, when I post those for the new moon. But in essence, there's a big, big theme of what emerges after the storm of new beginnings so I will go into that more when I do those videos in the meantime how are you guys doing how's cancer season for you <laughs> I feel like we're just getting started honestly To me, it feels like we're headed for some pretty extreme things. Like 2020 was crazy, right? 2021, yes, we're halfway through, but it's like the games have just begun. That's what that feels like. Okay, so let's take a quick prayer, then I'll pull cards for the week. So, God, Source Spirit, thank you so much for this fabulous day. Thank you for the abundance of nature and the amazing harvest that we are able to get <laughs> when we pay attention to the cycles of nature. Thank you for bringing me whoever is here watching. Thank you for this technology that we can... Communicate through time and space in such a way. Thank you for the protection, for the guidance. Please guard this space from any and all hostile negative entities. And please allow only energies of love and true light to come through. Thank you. Okay, collective reading. For this week, let's get three cards, please. Exactly three. That's pretty cool. All right. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Lord of Wealth. Awesome. On one hand, ten represents an ending and a new beginning. Um, on the other, ten is manifestation right so whatever that represents for you in particular you're feeling it so you're actually obtaining something of great value to you now because this is virgo it can be some physical tangible asset or it could be a state of health, a state of mind, because Virgo rules our health, our body, our daily habits. But this is something that you've been working towards for a while, and it's finally coming to fruition, and that's a really beautiful and really nice feeling. On either side of the Ten of Pentacles, however, we have the Princess of Swords reversed and the Six of Wands reversed. So that's interesting. On the one hand, in the center, it was the top card actually, there's like this, the abundance of nature, which is funny because I mentioned that in my prayer. Um, <laughs> you know, there's this, this, this joyful, like, rolling in the cash kind of thing. But then, victory reversed, and the princess of swords reversed. So it's almost like, at what cost did you obtain this? Is it a real victory? 
do you really feel confident about this? Or did you have to back down on some of your morals in order to obtain this? It actually, honest, honest to God, it, rem it it's making me think of the, the bribery and the, the lottery that they're doing for people to get this injection. So it's like, yeah, you can have all of this money, but goodbye sovereignty. And then the Princess of Swords is interesting. This is either somebody that is not sure of themselves, not sure about what they're thinking, is confused, or is lying. Or spying. This could be spying, too. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress Reversed. It's like this is not true wealth. Typically the Empress is receptive, is soft, is pregnant with possibility. But Empress reversed is a loss or is denying the feminine part of yourself that is often more receptive. So be careful, I would say, be careful of offers that on the surface appear to be really great. Like, first thing that pops to mind is get rich quick schemes, where you it may look really beautiful, it may feel really beautiful, at least at first. Um, but the motives of the people offering this are not necessarily in line with truth. And it's going to cause loss. Yeah. You don't need to know what that one was. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so keep that in mind this week. And, uh, yeah, yeah, keep that in mind this week. Also, maybe strengthen your own mental clarity. It could be another way to read this if you want to look at it from a more esoteric rather than an exoteric level. It's like, okay, if you look at it from that view, you have a ton of value. You just need to believe in it. As a severe lack of confidence. Almost like you're unable to um, speak fully from the heart. And because of this, you're not clear in your actions or in what you want or in your decisions. But... Looking at it from this view, there's, you have everything in the world right in front of you. Just have to be able to reach out and grab it. Uh, and not try quite so hard. Allow some of it to come to you. Yeah. So if you're somebody that's chasing right now, stop chasing. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> okay. Have a good week. Enjoy the new moon. Peace.